I've got you, Alec. Good. MI6 won't be able to reach us down here. But we'll be able to contact each other through the alternate channels on the ultra-low frequency sideband. We've got 19 minutes till those terrorists make the pickup. It should be enough, so long as Yurimov hasn't spotted us. I'll take the fuel tanks. I'll get the weapons cache. Last one out buys the first round. You're on. Another thing that I'm not particularly a fan of, and this isn't so much the game as it is just gaming in general, you don't have to go first person to the literal degree where I have to see James during the cutscene. You could have easily done the cutscene from the third person perspective. I feel like that would have been a little bit more interesting than watching James give him a boost up. I don't care to see that. That's just a, nit a nitpick at modern gaming in general. My two cents. I don't know. It just—it doesn't immerse me. It doesn't make me think I'm James Bond. It makes me. Shut up, Trevelyan Trevlin. I need to go that way. That's the other thing. Is this little pointer isn't? I don't know if you caught it in the first part. It's not always the most reliable. Because it'll say, yeah, go this way, and then it'll be pointing towards a wall. So it doesn't change. always help. Radio silence. Good luck. Good. I, I hope you shut the hell up. It would be great. So this is another more of a... Well, the, Rude! I hit the button! I definitely- oh, look at that leg twitch. I definitely hit the button. Okay, so that little sequence where he's dropping down, that was pretty accurate, except Pierce was like, Sorry, uh, sorry I forgot to knock. Some shit like that. Yeah, but that- that was the scene where, like, right after here, Pierce meets Travelin. Travelin. But look how ugly James looks. Look how ugly this game is. It's disgusting. And yet again, more of a tribute to Rare, but at the same time makes sense because they go through the facility in the film. They go through a bit differently in here. Uh, they do give you a bit of freedom on how you choose to do it, because I don't think either door is a penalty. Now, I want to say right down here. No. I got the silence on, right? Well, not anymore. Did you catch the game last night? Yeah, I can't believe we Okay, lost I was thinking of a different spot. You can kinda get fucked because there'll be a guy who like looked through a window and then it'll be like, oh no, you blew your cover, and it's like that's not my fault, homeboy has working eyes. FC it lasts so long, it works so well, so just I just fuck it. It doesn't even matter. Just be prepared to fight for your life all the time. Ow. Ow. And get used to that voice too. That you probably like literally above me. See, cause that's that's the, oh, there's no one up there. there. He is. Hold on a sec, gotta reload. Like I just can't stealth to save my own fucking life in this game, but I'll still make it. It just becomes a tiny bit harder. Is that it? Is that everyone? Great. Let me go pick up my generic guns. Where there's like 20 of them that all do the same thing and are all just boring and generic. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, I'm gonna rip this game to pieces, but I don't really know anyone that's a diehard Goldeneye Reloaded fan. I remember the hype was pretty real for it. 
Like, I won't lie, I was like, wow, cool, James Bond. But, but the product we got quickly turned me off. Jake's untrapped. You need to get to Master Cat is trying to get, get the into the door. Override the lockdown. We've been infiltrated. Lock down the facility. Secure the perimeter. All guards to the emergency station. Find wherever you can reach out with security. Good shot, James. That was Orimov on the telly right there. Ow. Aim at the guy. You're doing great. You're doing great. You're doing great. In case you can't tell, it's those guys that are making the... the the mouth noises and the radios and the angries. It's them. Is there anything? Nah. That's it, Biz, because you play it like this, there's no point in really exploring too much because it's not like you're going to find any body armor or anything interesting around the place. It's like, hey man, you want to find a gun that does the same thing except this one has a scope? That's about as exciting as it'll get. So it doesn't really warrant exploration much. I need new shoes. We can switch back. Hold on. Torka. I, I saw the name and I knew it wasn't, but I was thinking about Tostadas. There we go. I like the cameras, that's fine. I'm trying to think, what else? Yeah, that's, that's, a lot, that's a lot better than World's Not Enough's cameras. Cameras on World's Not Enough was not specific at all. There, you couldn't tell the damn range in there. But there was only cameras in a single level, so it didn't matter. I'm trying to think, what else? Nightfire? Yeah, Nightfire was pretty, pretty specific. It told you how to do it. That's the other thing, it's just the combat if in first person looks kind of wonky. So in World's Not Enough and GoldenEye, it looked, GoldenEye 64, it looked okay because you just ran around throwing fists and it was goofy and funny. That's another thing, I cannot jump. There is no jump button. There was no jump button in Rogue Agent either, for argument's sake. But, I don't know, that just feels like one of those silly features that I enjoy doing. I love when I can just jump and act like a goof in games. If your game doesn't have jumping, it feels naked. It feels very naked. That's like they don't enjoy what fun is, you know? This is actually kind of cool looking right here. It's just a shame that the game looks so ugly. Now, before anyone gets super into that bit with um visual quality yes Ocarina of Time and Banjo-Kazooie and other such games prior to looked ugly too but again I, I've done comparisons with things like No More Heroes and Galaxy 2 and they did fine so and those were actually both released the same year as this, too. Both of them, all three of those were 2010 as well. I feel like this is this weird hybrid. I just feel like they didn't try, honestly. That's most of my complaint. I feel like they didn't try. But this is like this weird hybrid of like, I don't know, it's like less than 3DS, but better than DS. It's somewhere, oh look at his hat, it's, it's like that. Like the 3DS is really clear, but it's got like the cartoony look of a DS game. That's how this game kind of is. That's a pretty good flip. Which I, I guess you could say, oh wow, it's a Wii game. I know there's nothing up here, I just want to go up here. I do enjoy that segment where I just walk him and I just punch him in the face. 
That makes me happy. I enjoy that. That's fun. That's enjoyable. Can we get our generic machine gun in place of our generic handgun, the Tostada? No, we can't, because it's the same generic machine gun we already have. Oh, hi. I also feel like stealth isn't super obvious in this game either. They fixed that with Legends. Which I like Legends more. I'm gonna go in here. You can choose the stealth approach or the walk through the fucking Christ. Or the walk through the door approach. I'm gonna choose stealth and then do shit at it. I enjoyed that. Does the Tostada have a silencer? No. I'm gonna just keep calling it the Tostada. I don't even care. Having nicknames for guns is actually one of my favorite things about just gaming in general. Like, I have a nickname for just about every single gun in World's Not Enough. A fair amount in Nightfire. And that's kind of a thing where it's like, I wish I continued to do that in my age. Because it feels kind of shitty to be like, oh yeah, I remember that fun thing from childhood, but like, I don't have that as an adult. So that's kind of like, why I want to just call it the Tostada. Because that's just funny. A lot of the reasons I'd give guns nicknames is because I couldn't read their names, because I was just a shit little kid. So there was like one, I think it was in World Sound Up, it was called like the Soviet AK something. And I just called it the Devil Gun. Because the way it sounded. I'm trying to think of what else there was. Uh, the Sentiel? We called that the Steenal because one of my friends pronounced it Steenal, so I thought that was correct. Yeah, but see, that's, a, that's a, the Steenal, the Sentiel. That's an interesting type of gun you're never going to see in a game like this because this game's is he being filled with generic fucking machine guns? Is this the way I go? I don't feel like that's the way I go. There's a staircase somewhere in here. I've been trying to be stealthy, which I guess it actually paid off for a change. I just remember while I was playtesting, I got far enough in, and then I died, and then I was like, yeah, that's enough for now. What about in here? What's in here? That's the other bit. You don't really get rewarded for doing anything like this. Like, at least in Nightfire, when you did something like this, it was like, yeah, you got yourself a 007 bonus for being James Bond and shit, dude. Like, remember that in Nightwatch, where you would get a reward for, oh, for, um, going through the fucking air vents and stuff? And disabling the cameras? and shooting out a guy's tires, it will reward you for being good. How's it going? Right. Don't even breathe. Punch in the security codes. Override the lockdown. Punch in the codes. Are you going to kill me? No. Alec, we're clear. Let me, let me fix that sentence. It's funny because I did that without hesitation, so it felt a little bit too preemptive for James to go, No! Like that. Goodbye, Tostada. I need the silenced rifle. That, oh, this one doesn't have a thermal thing, so I can at least see someone. But you know what? Maybe the thermal ain't so bad after all. Oh, I'm so glad you survived that. Like, I understand they have that sound cue, but that sound cue means nothing to me. That was pretty good. Who else is in here? So, like, right now the thermal would actually probably be complimentary. I see that guy. Anyone else? Oh, there's that guy. I see him. Low ammo. Yeah, I'd say so. 